Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to install a different EQ in LMMS or Linux Multimedia Studio because uh, the default EQs are kind of boring. They don't really have a visual of anything. It's just a bunch of dials. So I'm going to show you how to use a free visual EQ in LMMS. All right. So this is a... By the way, this was a question from a subscriber a couple years ago and I never really got around it to answering it because I've been in college for the past few years and I've been really busy but finally I'm gonna answer it I'm sorry it took so long um so th what we're gonna install is this EQ called Blue Cats Triple EQ it actually comes in a pack with a few other plugins as well um so I'll leave a link to this website in the description. I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit VST version of it. The downloads are just right on the right side of the screen here. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then save the file. And then it's just like any other installation. We're just going to go ahead and click on the installer and open it up. This next step, just accept the license agreement like you usually would, but you want to go ahead and place this where you have your Linux Multimedia Studio pointed for plugins. So go to your set, go to Edit and Settings in LMMS, and then click on this little folder icon so you can see your paths and look at your VST plugin directory. Mine is in Program Files, x86, VST Plugins. So I'm going to want to browse and go ahead and find this. So this PC, Windows C, and then Program Files times 86. And then go ahead and scroll down to my VST Plugins and I'll put it right there. I will come back to this video once it is done installing. Okay, it's done installing. Now just go ahead and click finish. And I'm gonna reopen my LMS Studio and it should scan and try and find new plugins and then now as you can see I have the triple EQ down here after I restarted my LMMS And we have a nice visual of what we're doing with our EQ. By the way, I almost forgot to add this. If you want to use the other plugins that come with the EQ, go ahead and go to the folder like that, that you should have installed your um, EQ into when you went through the installation process. Go to that folder the one you have your LMMS set to. So uh, like I said, mine was the program files 86 VST plugins. And there's gonna be a Melda production folder in there. Just go ahead and go in there and take, and there should be a pitch shift and a modulation folder. You're gonna wanna go into each one of these and just go ahead and cut or copy the DLL file and put it in the main folder, the main VST plugins folder. Paste it in there. And do that for each one, the vibrato and the auto pitch, if you want to use them. Or you can also just delete these off of your computer if you don't want to use them. I'm going to keep them. I probably w won't really use the M audio, M, M auto pitch, 
because I've used that in the past and it's not better. I would recommend using G Snap over M Auto Pitch personally. But there we go. Those are in there too. And as you can see, we also have, and as you can see now, we have the M Auto Pitch in um, LMMS as well, and also M Vibrato. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. The link, and remember the link to this will be in the description as well. Um, see you next time.